Hi, so here with me is Natalie Ong as she is the X Factor finalist in 2016 and I'm so honoured to be speaking with her right here I've been dying oh, to shucks. like you know talk to you and we're currently backstage at Esplanade as well for your Uncharted concert where she just Perform live for us and all the songs were so amazing. Thank you. So what's your favorite like performance so far? Favorite? Uh, all by myself. All by myself. Because you know why? For those of you who haven't seen on YouTube, she sang all by myself and Adam Lambert, oh. her mentor then, threw his shoe at her. Like, yeah. Yeah. like But like, they they they, they <laughs> didn't put my singing in it though. They I did. Put it myself. Uh, oh, they did, did the high note, the high yeah. note, yeah. That's what we do in my group of friends. We throw our shoes at each other when it's that good. That was crazy! Like, Does his feet smell? No. No. <laughs> um, in the three seat challenge, they gave us a list of songs and they asked us to pick the top three that you want to sing. And I ch like initially like chose a Prince song because Adam Lambert sings with like the Prince band yes. and he does like the tribute. And what a way to suck up, right? Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I was like you know, I had to pick that because like, you know. But then they chose my last choice, and that was like Megan Trainor. Like, I don't know which song it was, but okay. I, I, I didn't like it at all. Like, so which Prince song was that? Uh, like it was like da -da 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 -da. I think live together. I oh, don't know. who wants to live forever? Yeah, who wants oh, to live who wants to live forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so who's your like best friend from X Factor? Um, I'm Isaiah and Amalia. Oh, from her team, the top three, right? Yeah, yeah, top three. Oh, oh my gosh, like, this is so unreal. The three from the same singing school yeah, so like, got chosen by Adam Lambert. Did so he like, own the school? Uh, no, wait, you mean Adam Lambert owned the school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that A point behind. Cool, sorry. Okay, we also know from your X Factor journey that you actually are releasing a new single. Yes. Get Go. Mm -hmm. What's the whole story behind Get Go? Okay, so um, the story is like, um, about me, how after X Factor, um, I just kept going on and um, didn't stop believing in you know my dream and um, it. Well, I hope it inspires young um, Singaporean um, kids who um, have a dream. And, uh, What's coming up for you? Um, okay, so I'm gonna be uh, part of Army Days Two, which is by Michael Chiang. By Michael Chiang, yes, and. It will be um, on very soon, and um, I'll be uh, Renee. Renee. Who is a love? Are you the only girl in this all boys? Only girl. Comedy play? Um, out of like the younger generation, I'm the young. Like, I'm the only. The girl. leading girl. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if it was like the mom and all that, but like out That's of the, the, young the young one gets all the attention anyway. <laughs> And how was it working with uh, Adam Lambert? I mean like he's so amazing. Is he a very intimidating person? No, he's very very nice. Very nice? Yeah, I feel like so what did he say about you? Um, I don't know. He just said diva, I guess. That was oh. like the one who went there. Diva. Okay. Are you a diva? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean like, I mean diva would be like a bad thing if it was in a personality trait. But like, oh yeah, for performance wise, yeah. Like performance wise, yeah. Okay, so who are some of your inspirations, like the divas that you want to be, uh, performance wise? Performance wise, yeah. like Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion. I mean, like if you're talking about diva, those are diva singers, right? So, so we'll put her vocals to test right now, and we'll see how well you can um, sing to your diva songs. <laughs> 